about an acre cleared and always right back among the bears, bobcats. You could so. hear him calling the sheep plain uh, to look off rock up yonder. They well, I was it. coming out there as a date and a girl, a walk into that area, lie or anything. I was feeling my way. Listen, listen feeling very closely for the sound is vanishing. It was the daily song of the mountaineer. It is the language of our ancestors. Its roots survive in the southern mountains. Mountaineers have long been ridiculed for their speech. They seem to have no concept of grammar, and so they appear ignorant. Quite the opposite is true, however. It's not that mountaineers use poor grammar. They use an earlier one. We're following uh, grammatical rules that are centuries old and we're doing it consistently. Listen to the way Wiley Oakley from the Great Smoky Mountains said the verb waiting. I was just waiting for it to come. <laughs> Men like Wiley have been a-waiting on their brides, a-coming and a-going since the days of Chaucer, when the letter A appeared in verbs ending with I-N-G. She was a-crying cause she couldn't get home. Molly Julian from Roan Mountain does to... this too. She also does something with the letter R that may have its roots in the lowlands of Scotland. All Scots love the R. Now, they trill their R. We no longer make that trilling sound in Appalachia, but we love the R so much that we insert it into words where it doesn't even belong. And I think the branch got up and washed it off. I don't Wash. Don't Mountaineers don't will pronounce an that. R every chance they get. But that a man ought to be a good hand if he'd save his life. Ray Hicks from Banner Elk, North Carolina, has one of the oldest mountain dialects in the country. Listen carefully to the way he says the word, helped. You were man, said you hope me I. Ray says hope. It was the original past tense of help about 600 years ago. Helped is a more modern form. Our usage has remained the same. It is the usage of the rest of American English and British English that has changed. I don't know what they made out of it, but anyway, it's poison. The word hit first appeared in Old English over a thousand years ago. The H has been lost through the years, but you can still find it in the mountains. Yeah, it's ready to wash. So it got down here at the old May store you ever see it here? Why do these old forms still exist in mountain speech? Because our ancestors were storytellers, and in the isolation of the mountains, the sound of the spoken word was treasured. Listen to the music in Wiley Oakley's speech. So I started out the door, I looked back and she sort of smiled and said, you ought to give me a lock of hair before you leave me up in these wild mountains. So it made me a little mad. We have the, the richest American dialect there is. Appalachian English flows and rolls, it's melodic, it's rhythmic. Oh, well, no, no, it ain't true. It's just uh, some jokes that we all just would tell, you know, who was around them old grocery stores, sitting by the stove, you know. Then another thing... It is a dialect for storytellers, and it lives only in the sound of spoken words. Our storytellers are changing, and so is the sound. Today, mountain speech faces its greatest threat. It changes for sure. Dan Rattle reporting. You've got the time. Is that a new hat? Change their lives forever. The same sources say no other officers are ever here. That's all we have. We had nothing else to look to for, for no cheer up or, or a feeling, you know.